Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saki Bali from the Texter World. In this video, we will be talking about how to set up the Windows Defender in your Windows operating system. In the last video, I have explained why you should use Windows Defender and why you shouldn't use Windows Defender for your operating system defense. If you haven't watched that video, you can see the link in the description and uh, on the screen uh, right above, you can tap on the screen and watch that video before you continue in this video. In this video, we entirely talking about Windows Defender. How to set up the Windows Defender, how to enable the Windows Defender if you haven't installed any antivirus software and if you have any third-party antivirus software installed, then how would you use the Windows Defender uh, to enhance, to reinforce your protection of operating system. Before we go on further in this video, I will want to explain briefly what Windows Defender is and what it provides. Ransomware protection, cloud-based intelligent uh, antivirus protection, it provides you with parental control, it provides you with browser control, it provides you with apps control, it provides you with firewall and pro uh, firewall protection, it provides you with uh, device health management and many more things. That's all for the theoretical stuff. Let's jump on the PC to enable your Windows Defender program. To open your De Windows Defender setting page, just hit the Windows button on the keyboard and uh, type Defender. You can see the Windows Security app. Open it. Yeah, you are on the main screen. You're on the home screen of Security, Windows Security. At the first tab, you can see the virus and threat protection. Open it. As you can see, I have installed ESET Node 32 Antivirus 810. It's a third-party antivirus program that is protecting my Windows operating system, uh, Windows machine. If a third-party antivirus on your system is installed, then Windows Defender is not protecting your PC as a primary antivirus program. In this section, if uh, you haven't installed any antivirus program, uh, you will see uh, the Windows Defender active status here, current threats. Even if you have installed a third-party antivirus program, you can, inst uh, you can scan your uh, system with the Windows Defender. Uh, you can uh, change the scan option here. Click on the scan options, quick scan, full scan, custom scan, Microsoft Defender offline scan. To enable your Windows Defender, if it is not enabled by default, if you are not using any third-party antivirus, then you have to go here, virus and threat protection setting, manage setting, and here. It's saying me that you are using uh, other antivirus providers, you cannot uh, enable real-time protection. Another option is a cloud deliver protection, yes, it's a cloud-based. Uh, protection from the Microsoft automatic sample submission is on uh, just keep it on because if any malware entered in your system uh, your system uh, will uh, submit a definition submit a definition of that malware to the Microsoft Cloud and Microsoft Cloud will generate some kind of anti malware uh, protection that will be delivered to you through updates temper protection controlled folder access Control folder access is uh, some kind of protection that uh, relates to the ransomware protection we will be talking about later. Uh, always check for the updates. Protection updates, security intelligence, security intelligence version. It should be the latest security intelligence version because uh, day by day viruses are getting updated. Uh, by themselves check for the updates it uh, will check for the update and uh, update your security intel intelligence program from the microsoft cloud it is quite updated if there is no update available for the ransomware protection i will be shooting in complete new video because it needs a onedrive account to set up uh, to set up for the ransomware protection uh, because in ransomware protection your files are encrypted by a third party hacker a malicious intruder uh, then you should have a backup of your files for the backup of your files you should have a OneDrive account that's all for the virus and threat protection now uh, we will see on the main screen 
that account protection account protection is showing a cross because I am not using the Microsoft account to log in into my Windows operating system. Uh, let's leave it here. And the next option is a firewall and network protection. You can see the green tick mark. Make sure the firewall is on for all these uh, three settings. App and browser control. Open the app and browser control. Uh, one thing you have to remember that uh, Microsoft Defender, Microsoft Security, Windows Security provides uh, these feature app and browser control uh, only with the Microsoft Edge. Click on the reputation based protection and uh, there are many settings available. Uh, make sure that all the settings are on because it will provide you uh, with apps and files uh, protection if any malware is traveling to your uh, PC through the apps or files uh, through the downloads. Your Microsoft Edge browser will provide you with malware protection. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen helps protect your device from malicious sites and downloads, potentially unwanted app blocking. Uh, make sure these checks are on, toggle switches are on. And the next is isolated browsing. This is uh, actually a Microsoft Defender application guard. You have to install it in Windows features. If you haven't installed it yet, uh, there is an option to install a Microsoft Defender application guard. Click on it. These settings will be Windows feature uh, dialog will be open. Check if the Microsoft uh, Defender guard application guard is installed or not. Look here, Microsoft Defender application guard is on is installed the next tab for the windows security see this tab is uh, um, basically related uh, to the virtualization security and hardware security uh, click on this device performance and health it will provide you with a health status of your windows operating system with your windows machine uh, as you can see the report generated the last scan was 12 12 uh, it is uh, today and Windows time service is no issue storage capacity one recommendation because I have uh, my PC running on low space then it is giving me to free up some space battery life has no issue apps and software has no issue and the last option is the family protection family options parental controls uh, I will get you to the Microsoft Edge. What we get from the Microsoft Edge in terms of family control is activity reports. If you want to track your children's activity online uh, to set limits for their screen time, to so set limit for certain apps uh, to be closed after that time for your children, uh, then you should use the Microsoft Edge and it will provide you with content filters, activity reports, peace of mind across devices. So that's all for the video. In this video, we have analyzed how to enable Microsoft Defender, Windows Defender program, antivirus program in your Windows operating system. What settings and controls are important to be enabled if you are using Microsoft Windows Defender as your primary antivirus program. Me, Saigibali, signing off uh, till the next video. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.